Yeah, some, some, some girl that he said he was best friends with, but then it came full circle because it was questions that I asked him and he wasn't being honest about it. Wait, so to get through, you're dating and he tells you another woman yep. paying his bill? Exactly, same thing I was trying to get wrapped around that my head. the last date. Yeah, it was, it was. No, it wasn't. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of Foreign. Once again, my people, once again. But this time it's a little different. I want to hit on something about how vindictive some of you ladies are. You break up with someone. Why do you feel I need to warn the next lady? What's up with that? Why do you think you need to warn the next lady because it didn't work out before, in, between you two? I never understood that, but y'all to jump online and talk about this and that about a guy you was dating. And as soon as you see him with somebody else, here you come. This young lady see her ex she met on the show with a new girl. It didn't work out with them, but all of a sudden you back on here to tell the story basically to warned how y'all do it? The little fingers. Warn her of this dude. Yeah. But anyway, Kendra caught it. And uh, I'll let y'all check it out. But before we do it, y'all know what to do. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. And definitely don't forget that notification to get what? The next foolery video. Really got three phones. I'm gonna use one of my phones to look your ass up and talk to you right back. Are you ready? Yeah, sorry, I just threw on something. Just so uh, you know, hey, if you find me, you find me. Okay. All right, all right. So back to you, Sir Catherine. You said okay. 31 Capricorn computer no, ID. One child, that's nine. All right, so um, yeah, you said you were here before. Okay. What happened? Okay, so the guy was nice, gave him a chance. He wasn't from, he wasn't from Houston, um, but he just kind of just told lies after we kind of like made things official. So it's kind of like weird, and I was just trying to, you know, some of the stuff just didn't make sense. Nobody should be paying your paying your bills for you, and you're a grown man. Wait, so what happened? That somebody's paying his bills. Yeah, some, some some girl that he said he was best friends with, but then it came full circle because it was questions that I asked him, and he wasn't being honest about it. Wait, so to get through, you're dating, and he tells you another woman yep. paying his bills. Exactly, same thing. I was trying to get wrapped around that. Was the last date? Yeah, it was. It was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Let's stop tripping. First of all, when you first heard that, that should have been your sign to get the F up out of there. I don't know why y'all ladies still hanging around like y'all didn't hear what he just said. But you can't blame him now. He told you. You stick around. It's on you. Okay, wait, okay. Explain wait, to me how that even came out that a woman was paying his bills. Like, what was the conversation? Oh, I'm trying to remember. Um, he was like, I want to share something with you and see if uh see if you're you know you're gonna judge me i never judge them or nothing but it's it, it becomes a questionable thing knowing that um this uh, a whole grown woman is also paying all your bills while you are saving your money and they discuss some type of agreement where where she would pay all his bills because she make more money than him and that he will use his money to save and that was like the story. Now, I never understood why why they even did it because I kept asking him different questions to kind of get him to say because he just wouldn't tell me. So where, but he was like, they were they 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 together? Mm, nope. So why did it even come up? Like, I'm trying to figure out why did he even... He was, just trying, to, huh? he was, 
He said that he just wanted to be uh, open and honest and make me uh, feel comfortable. So he wanted to tell me the truth about something. He wanted to know how I felt about it. And honestly, I didn't know what to say. Honestly, I just was just thinking in my head, like, should I be mad? Should I be irritated? Why would we make things special when we didn't talk about this before? Like, if you wanted to get something off your chest, let's have a clean slate beforehand. Let me make the decision on whether this should be something that we should go forward in. You don't tell me after the fact and have me in a position where it kind of make me feel like I should be okay with it because was he attractive? He got to be attractive. He was decent. He, he, he was he was decent. I'm gonna say that. No, he hit it. Let's be real. He didn't hit it, and you already done caught feelings, and that's why he told you later. He had to make sure he had you locked in, and you locked. Let's be for real. You try, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. Ugh. Really, lady. But a lot of you ladies want y'all man to be open with you. He was open and told you. So it's pretty much up to you after that. I wonder if he was trying to see if you were going to pay for his bills eventually. I ain't never done it before. I ain't going to never do it. So I hope not. I hope that was not his, uh, his intake. Okay. Okay, but, but eventually, how did you guys, how did, that, how did that end? Um, So it ended by me basically seeking God about it. When I saw God about it, God just kind of gave me um, gave me confirmation. And next thing you know, I told him, I said, I just think it's just best that we kind of separate, separate because I can't really wrap around my head why somebody else is paying your bills. And um, I also can't wrap around the fact that it's a woman that's doing it. And you say that y'all have never been together or anything like that, but it's kind of giving me vibes that you're not telling me the whole full truth, that there's something behind it. So he understood. He was upset about it. First of all, why do y'all wait until something happened before you seek God for this uh, vital information? Why, when you first meet him, then you go talk to God, as you say, and see what he tell you then? Why wait until something come arise and then you're like, well, let me go see what God say. Because maybe if you looked and you say you're talking to God, maybe he would have told you you shouldn't have stepped that way from the beginning. And save yourself a little time on the Kendra show. Just my thoughts. I mean, just makes sense to me, right? Y'all ladies love putting God in this after the fact. You know what I'm saying? After the fact. Try it before. Since y'all have such a close relationship with him that y'all can speak directly to him. But he understood and he respected and we we uh we was easily able to separate. He wanted to still stay in contact, he wanted to uh bond with my son and everything. I told him I said, Well, once we're done, then that has to stop because you've only met him one time and I can't have that continuously going on and me just that. telling you, you know, honestly straight up what the decision is between us. Um and I don't think I, I can kinda move that. past that, especially if we've already started. You know, in that angle, I don't think that would be wise for me. Okay. So, he feels good, and we we done. Okay. okay so, I'm going to put that on the phone. Okay. Well, I don't think you got to do things your way, and you, but let me tell you something. I know guys sometimes like, why y'all calling me about this shit? I, I think God might call me sometimes, maybe because they're my ass. Yes. Like, child, you ain't know what you need me for. You could ask Keisha hmm. this. I be trying to get yes. Lord, and now I see why my prayers be getting blocked because y'all be going to God oh. the moment he told you somebody else oh. another woman was paying his bills you ain't need God you needed to dial phone you needed to hang up I mean God I be yes. for real stuff I be trying to get oh. through to God and I be seeing why God can't even hear my prayer oh. cause y'all be going to him with shit like this and I know God oh. is not like eh. oh my God she clowned her I, I'm so man Oh, man, that's hilarious. I know she feels stupid now. Like she said, you could just ask one of your friends and they would have told you, like, hell no. That woman is not paying his bills for no reason at all. They got something connecting to him. Something's going on with them. Man, you're only dumb as you allow yourself to be. That's the damn truth. I don't care what nobody say. You are just as dumb as you allow yourself to be. 
And lady, you are dog. The girl had, uh, he actually got with somebody else that was on the show, and I guess they met. And, um, the girl actually had, she sent you a message and said that she had met somebody. And he, it, it's the same guy. Okay, so here come the hate now. Why are you stalking this girl so bad that you know, see, you knew they had hooked up and she's on this damn show. You know she sent a message, you following everything about them, and now you come back to do a recap but try to play it off. See, this that vindictive stuff I was talking about at the very beginning. Now watch how this goes. I know his side profile face. They had, they were kissing. You had did like a, a, a update on on her story or whatever. I don't know if she was on the show or if he ever got a chance to be on the show. But that was the guy, and I was like, I said, I hope he told her the truth and told her some stuff. And hopefully, he out of that situation that he told me. But it was just so ironic. I was just like, man, let me get on there because I think it's probably time for me to tell my story. And definitely um, hope for the best for me. What's Still single. He ever on the show? Not that I know of, but she actually inboxed you a picture of them. You recently posted. And it was just okay. ironic okay. that it was him. What was her name? She inboxed me a picture of him? Yeah, you, you did it recently. I'm going to have to uh, probably just... Um, uh, and, they're, and, yeah. they're, and they're kissing? What did yeah. I say about the uh, great? She was sure, you just said that, you know, he, uh, I mean, that she actually had an update and that she, you know, was dating him or whatever. So oh. that's the guy. Were they kissing? Were they kissing? Yeah. And then yeah. she had locks? Like her hair was like? Yeah. Yeah. So the yeah. guy yeah, that he was kissing was the guy that was dating you, that you dated before. Now, why does this concern you? Since you ended the relationship. He still wanted to kick it with you and work it out. You ended the relationship. Why do you feel you need to come and tell your story? It wasn't a story to tell. You came on because you saw this picture. And once you saw that, and you saw that he was in another relationship and seemed to be a good one, you had something to say. So you come on here to tell your story, but basically you come on here to what? Warn her? To my, I hope he told her Ain't got nothing to do with you. Why are you hoping? Hope, for all we know, she might be the girl that's paying his bills. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, exactly. I was like, how ironic is that? So I guess he, you know, he making sure. I mean, he he's very dedicated to the show, but I didn't know he was that dedicated. So, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I like the whole of it. I mean, yeah, she's not on the show. That, yeah. And then, okay, I, I know what you're talking about. If I posted it, I did post because people actually, for some reason, thought the picture was me. But the girl, her hair is like in braids, and they're kissing each other. Red lock. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. She had it neatly flipped it up. She had it neatly. It looked like it was fresh. You know how I can get it? Yeah, she had dreads, and they were kissing. And I was like, now, again, I'm done. That guy, me and him have no feelings. I was done once when I got the confirmation. Yeah, right. And I don't have no hard feelings for him. I'm actually happy for him. He found somebody. Because he made it seem like he wasn't going to be able to move on. But I'm glad he moved on and found somebody. Him? Him like he couldn't move on when you left him? Kind of, sort of. He was just, he was just saying, like, I was his dream woman. Like, like he, he was just, you know how guys praise you for being a certain way and uh, actually everything that you prayed for. It was kind of one of those things. And I was just hoping that he would, uh, you know, would be able to move on. I'm very happy that he actually moved on. And, you know, it was just a learning experience for me um, in that whole situation. Just don't settle. And I'm just not willing to settle. I do too much. I work too hard. I do a lot of self-reflecting on myself to get to where I'm at. And I've, I've healed a lot of pain. So I'm in a place now. I'm ready to be married. I'm ready to be with somebody, a life partner. And I'm just going to continue to patiently wait for him to come. I'm just not going to settle. And that will that would have definitely put me in a settling phase. Nothing against him. He was a decent guy. But unfortunately, the lies, I just couldn't get past, especially when it was early on. Those are flags that you start noticing there. You start playing in the exit. And okay. Okay. See, the thing is, she's leaving out a lot. A lot. Uh, you know, I, Kendra hadn't even started asking the questions yet, but how long did you and this guy kick it? How long when he told you this 
relate this situation he was in. And all this stuff, ladies, y'all keep talking about this settling. Everybody sells. It's called compromise. All right? You're going to have to compromise with somebody if you want to be married. Because there's not going to be no clean cut anything on anyone. All this angles. Do you know a man has to settle for a lot of stuff you guys have going on? And we don't go around talking, oh, I don't feel like selling. I don't have to settle. I ain't selling. That shit sounds weird. Everybody has some type of baggage. I don't care what it is. You're going to have to either compromise and learn to live one another flaws because it's called it is. It's flaws. But the flaws can't be so bad where you can't live with a person. Now, if it's so bad where I just can't do it, then that's it. You cut it off. But it's something like it ain't bad enough to fucking leave and break up my family over and stuff like that. Then you continue on. Think you all ready. You may not be ready. Let's just be honest. Just because you think you're ready. You just split up with this dude and you're back on the show again looking for another dude. In my eyes, you ain't ready. You just seem like you're being kind of thirsty. But then you come on to talk about the dude that you said you ain't going to settle for. Why are you still talking about it? You ain't moved on. Because I would no way in the world I would come back on the show just to bring up the fact that the guy that I told you I couldn't be with is now happy with another woman and you done brought up the whole scenario. What you need to be saying is I need to let it go, not settle, because you hadn't let it go. Are you sure you moved on? Because See? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just giving you an update. I'm, See, I'm good. Okay. We can move on. You asked okay. 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 We gotta move forward. So yeah. we thirty-one Capricorn. Computer IT child, that's nine. Because I didn't even start asking you the questions. Yet. See that? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen minutes in this thing. Um, I'm really looking for a intentional guy that's actually wanting, uh, possibly to be married, um, and a life partner, a best friend, um, a partnership, and somebody that's a really healthy role model. Um, I do have a child. And uh, so. it would be nice for him to be a great role, role model for him, showing things that a woman can't show him. And so, my father, uh, he's, he's not in his life. He's still on earth or what have you. He's just not active in his life. It's something he chooses to do, unfortunately. And um, it's something I, I can't really force him to do that I'm, I'm realizing I can't force him. Well, you so, want to it's just a good if you're honest with that. Yeah, I'm very honest. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very honest. Okay. Okay, this is, I mean, it's, it's off topic, but I just can't stop trying to see what the age is that behind her hanging. Right by her head, those long things. What the hell is that? No socks? Like, I'm just, I don't know, it caught my eye earlier, and now I can't stop looking at it. What are your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers for me, I'm not into smoking. Um, any type of form of smoking, I just, I just cannot do. Um, somebody that actually, from small lies or just trying to protect me, I like a guy that's like raw and unkind and tell me like it is because I'll respect you more if you are, you know, a man of integrity. And if you can't actually be honest and be transparent up front, then I don't know what we can kind of work on because at, at that point, I'm just, I don't have time. Um... Also, another deal breaker would be um, a guy that just don't communicate. Um, I just need somebody to communicate. If he can't communicate in verbal or uh, in action-wise, then it's going to be hard for me to kind of like, you know, bypass it. Okay. What about, let's get to look a certain way. Um, I really don't have a specific look. It's just based off of where your head at, to be honest. If he has a good head on his shoulders and we both see the same yeah, right. things in life and goals and ambitions in future, then I can I can do with that. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Let me see. I just can't stop watching that behind me. What she wanna put on okay, I'm gonna sit it up like this, I'm gonna step back. And hopefully you can see. You gotta see your legs. Oh, you can't okay. bring it down so we can see your legs, honey. Tiles? What is that? Okay, maybe, maybe this may work. I don't know if this is an option. No, not a good option. That's oh, a good yeah, yeah. Okay, Captain, just take it and put it on top of your head. 
holds it up and be able to see you like that. So look at all that cleavage right now. Look at all that cleavage. Okay, I think this is good. I think this is better. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see you, mama. Okay. Pretty dressed. I slipped on a prom dress. Okay. Thank you. Just to be on the right. Kendrick okay. cam. So, Catherine, when was your last relationship? What well, did you put on some? Um, that relationship in, in, uh, that was about October, October, November. Of last year? So, yeah, with that guy. Of last, mm -hmm. last year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you live in the same city? No. Um, you consider, how long did y'all talk for? We talked for about a month. And that month was a month and a half. Um, as far as talking before we made things official, um, we talked for like a month and then after that is when we had made things official. Okay. See that ladies, why is it so hard for y'all to try to get to know somebody? What is the big rush? You knew the man for one month and y'all trying to make it committed relationship. And then he tells you about this other stuff and now you break it off and now you go on the show and talk about it too. I just don't understand why y'all rush into a relationship and then as soon as one thing come up, I'm out. You might be coming back talking about the same dude that you broke it off with that seemed to be very happy in a relationship now. Day for just entirety. Saying. We we only went on one date. See? And that was when he flew uh he flew in. So we talked for like four for about four weeks and then he planned to come down here. Um, he wanted to actually be uh, be my escort to an event, so we went to we went to an event that um, pretty much he asked if he could, you know, be my date, and I said okay. If you yeah, can come yeah. down here, so he flew down here and um, escorted me to uh, the event, and from there is where we uh, ended up. He ended up asking me to be his woman officially, um, and then from there, it didn't yeah. it didn't last long. How much longer? Did it last after that? Probably another another four to six weeks, in between four to six weeks, something like that. So the entirety of the relationship two is two months? Yeah. Yep. How many times did you guys see each other? We saw each other three times. Wow. And, and, okay. See what, see so maybe, saying? listen, I guess dating is different for every relationship. Is yeah, it is. For everyone. Yeah. I, thought, I would... I would I would classify that as dating. Yeah. I don't know if I would classify that as a relationship. Because I asked you when was your last, last relationship. But a year, so you haven't dated anyone since that man? Oh, no. Uh -uh. I, before him, is uh, I had been single for like for about eight years. Wow. Yeah. What's going on? Why have you been single for eight years? Yeah, I haven't had anybody come and like literally like take the wheel and like literally leave like most of them are scared i don't know what it is i'm not intimidated i make everything so cool and easy it just don't work out like you get my number we talk you know before we even go on the first date and next thing you know i don't hear back from them um it's kind of like a hit and miss so i just kind of been you know focusing on my business focus on my son being the best mom i can be and mostly Preparing myself for, you know, whenever he comes and whenever he comes, he comes. That's just kind of how it has been. It's not like I'm not getting out there. I am getting out there. Let's see, now earlier she said she did the work and she's this and this, she's that. You've gone eight years. And I, I tell everyone, stop putting years in between dating. You can casually date and mingle and talk to people. Because you're going to get so far out of practice and you're hearing all this stuff, all these different, like for years, you're hearing a different way of trying to uh, get to know somebody, get in relationships, how to date. You're so out of practice, you don't know what's going on. you eight years out the game, you step back in, you fall for a guy within 30 days, break up in the next 30 days, and then you back on a dating show talking about a dude that you're no longer with. Now, is something wrong? Am I, I mean, is it me? Or is this something I'm missing on? And you're saying you don't know what it is. It's something with you. You're the only common denominator. I mean, let's just be honest. You're the only common denominator. The only relationship you've been in in eight years didn't last two months because you ended it. And maybe you needed to end it, but maybe you shouldn't even start it. But then you went back to this God talk and now... I mean, maybe just sound crazy. Let's just put it like that. Some of y'all just sound crazy, man. 
you know, I go to grocery stores <laughs> and I bump into guys. Um, I go, you know, to things with my son uh, at jumping places and, you know, no luck. <laughs> so y'all laugh at what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, like you yeah, live in a good city. Um, yeah, I yeah, I mean, you got you got the homegrown body. I think this is a, a body appreciated in Houston. You know, Thank you. Um, Thank you. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know, but um, okay. So I guess you don't have the answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last okay. time you were intimate with someone? Um, whew. This is October. This, no, this is October. This is November. It's about to be a year now. Jeez. So that I man was the last, last guy. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you he hit okay. Because I would hate for her to watch this episode and learn all this information. So then them 30 I hope days we told her came to visit him the first time. We find it out. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, girl. Yeah, it's at the end of the day. He came. She said they only met three times. First time he came, he took her to that thing, whatever that event. He hit it that night. I guarantee. And that's why she can't get him out the head because she had no business with nobody. In eight years, he came through, and now you ain't been with nobody in a whole year, and you still got this dude on your mind. Hey, I hope you already knew, girlfriend, because I, I don't want you to find out when the hell I found out. But yeah, me too. Yeah, that's the same thing I said. I said, ooh, I said, look, okay. Well, you came okay. out and told it now, Catherine. I don't know. See? You ain't I'm good with it. I'm at peace. I'm, I'm fine. Now, Catherine, I'm going to say this. You didn't have to tell but you decided to tell it. I did. Right. But that's okay. I'm cool with it. At the end of the day, um, more power to them. Hopefully they're strong enough to handle it. And hopefully they did, you know, share it. It is what it is. It's part of life and dating. And I ain't throw nobody under the bus. I uh, just kind of yes, was transparent about my experience. I've been on here before. So, yeah, that's my update since then. You threw him under the bus. What are you what talking about? What are the you have to work on, Catherine? Throwing people on my the flaws are making sure that um, I don't take things personal. Um, um, I do very well with that now, but that that was that's one of my flaws. Um, and then another one is probably um, getting ahead of myself, meaning moving probably a little too fast when um, when you just kind of enjoying the moment, but then you kind of like forget about certain things, you're like, oh, dang, I should have addressed this sooner, or um, and another one would be, I would say being, being patient with a man, especially when a man is, like, old enough, I would think that he would be of a certain, you know, way about himself, or how he cares himself. I really don't have a lot of patience for a lot of boy stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm on my grown women at this point, and I just don't have time for games. Okay, can the guy have kids? Um, one will be fine, or none. Uh, but I have one, so I think it's fair, you know, be somebody that has one as well. Do you want more children? Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. I definitely want to bear more children. And um, what was the age range you would date? You're 31. Okay, so last time I said starting at 28, but I'm 31 and. The type of men I'm interested in, they have to be, I would say, 30, 37 to about 43 is what I'll handle. 37 to 43. Okay. And why mm -hmm. would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I have a pretty smile. Definitely something good to look at. Um, oh, wow. I would say... I bring in a lot of teamwork and partnership with the person, so I'll just add to you and be a plus. And also, um, I'm very, very, I'm very ambitious. She's very ambitious. Okay. So I want to say. Okay. So ladies, stop using your team building skills to try to get a man. Every time one of these ladies get on here, y'all talk about all your work ethics. And if you've gone through a lot of, you go to these team building, you know, every company does. You get to a certain level. You go on these team building events and stuff. You talk about strategy, working together as a team, partnerships, and working out things. That's how this sound when I hear these ladies talking about this stuff. What she just describes part like an application, like 
like she applying for a job or something. He ain't looking at your resume. He want to know about you and all this building team. Man, come on. That's why you're as single. Because you ain't said nothing that interests a man. Stop saying stuff that interests you ladies. You ladies like to sit and brag about your stuff. Men don't do that. And definitely don't do it when they meet a woman sitting there. Because y'all, what y'all say, if he sit there and just talk about himself, y'all get bored. Y'all don't want to be dealing with him. He's a narcissist, right? So that's how y'all sound. All this entrepreneurships and all this other shit. Okay, cool. You got a job. Keep the shit simple. Talk about yourself. What you got going on? You ain't said nothing about can you keep a house? Can you cook? Do the men feel comfortable up under you? Can you bring him a little peace? Are you respectful when you're around his friends or family? Would you even fix his plate? You know, simple little things that what a man will catch. And a lot of us, I wouldn't do none of that. But I guarantee you, if you ladies go, if y'all in an event, especially somewhere around his family, around his friends, and you do something as simple as fix his plate for him, that'll make him feel like such a champ in front of his boys and all this make him feel like, and that's what he wants. Something to make him feel like something because he's bringing you around because he, he's showing you off to his friends. So you don't get in front of his friends and then you say some more weird shit and embarrass him and talking trash like most of you do. Be kind. Be supportive. Bring some peace into his life. He'll do everything he can for you. I'm telling you. Anybody ask me what is with my wife, I say she brought me, I say she brings me peace. Very peaceful when I'm with her. Very relaxed when I'm with her. Nothing she has to do really. It's just her way of doing, her persona, how she moves. Simple as that. Some of y'all just got too much energy that people can't relax around. So y'all take it however you want. I you know I'm cutting this shit off. I'm tired of listening to this woman. But um, y'all think about it and y'all figure it out. But as far as me, I'm up out of here. It's your boy, Mr. Nobody. And y'all take care. Stay vibing. Peace.